morning prayer for Saturday, October the 15th. And today we remember Teresa of Avila, who died on this day in 1582. And today's prayer theme always on Saturday which is King, the kingdom season is always about journeying into in the steps of the saints so we'll remember Teresa and we're going to re read from kings later O Lord open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise blessed are you sovereign God ruler and judge of all to you be praise and glory forever in the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the glory of your kingdom, which the saints enjoy, surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect the light of your glory this day, and so be made ready to come into your presence, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our life is hid with Christ in God. O come, let us worship. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. I wonder what this Saturday will bring for you. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you. And of Teresa we read, Teresa was born into an aristocratic Spanish family in 1515. Following her mother's death, she was educated by Augustinian nuns and then ran away from home to enter a Carmelite convent when she was 20. After initial difficulties in prayer, her intense mystical experiences attracted many disciples. She was inspired to reform the Carmelite rule and, assisted by St John of the Cross, she travelled throughout Spain, finding, founding many new religious houses for men as well as for women. She wrote extensively. You may know of the interior castle, one of her great works. So she and John of the Cross, part of the Counter-Reformation going on in Spain, whilst in Northern Europe we have what we probably have learnt more about of the Protestant Reformation. So now we're going to read from 2 Kings chapter 4 and we're going to read about Elisha having inherited the double dose of Elijah's spirit. We now read of Elisha as the great prophet of Israel. Now the wife of a member of the company of prophets cried out to Elisha, Your servant, my husband, is dead and you know that your servant feared the Lord. But a creditor has come to take my two children as slaves. This story is incredibly contemporary with what we're hearing is going on at the moment. Elisha said to her, what shall I do for you? Tell me what, what do you have in the house? And she answered, your servant has nothing in the house except a jar of oil. He said, go outside, borrow vessels from all your neighbours, empty vessels and not just a few, then go in and shut the door behind you and your children and start pouring into all these vessels. When each is full, set it aside. So she left him and shut the door behind her and her children that kept bringing vessels to her and she kept pouring. When the vessels were full, she said to her son, Bring me another vessel. But he said to her, There are no more. Then the oil stopped flowing. She came and told the man of God and said, and he said, Go and sell the oil and pay your debts and you and your children can live on the rest. One day Elisha was passing through Shunem where a wealthy woman lived who urged him to have a meal. So whenever he passed that way he would stop there for a meal. She said to her husband, Look, I'm sure that this man who regularly passes our way is a holy man of God. Let us make a small roof chamber with walls and put there for him a bed, a table, a chair and a lamp so that he can stay there whenever he comes to us. One day when he came there, he went up to the chamber and lay down there. He said to his servant Gehazi, Call the Shunammite woman. 
And when he had called her, she stood before him. He said, she said to him, he said, he said to him, say to her, since you have taken all this trouble for us, what may be done for you? Would you have a word spoken on your behalf to the king or to the commander of the army? And she answered, I live among my own people. He said, then what may be done for her? And Gehazi answered, well, she has no son and her husband is old. He said, call her. When he had called her, she stood at the door. He said, at this season in due time, you shall embrace a son. And she replied, no, my lord. Um, do not deceive your servant. But the woman conceived and bore a son at that season in due time, as Elisha had declared to her. And when the child was older, he went out one day to his father among the reapers, and he complained to his father, Oh, my head, my head! The father said to his servant, Carry him to his mother. He carried him and brought him to his mother. The child sat on her lap until noon, when he died. She went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God, closed the door on him and left, and then she called to her husband and said, Send me one of the servants and one of the donkeys so that I may quickly go to the man of God and come back again. He said, Why go to him today? It's neither new moon nor Sabbath. She said, It'll be all right. Then she saddled the donkey and said to her servant, Urge the animal on. Do not hold back for me unless I tell you. So she set out and came to the man of God at Mount Carmel. When the man of God saw her coming, he said to Gehazi, Look, there's the Shunammite woman. Run at once to meet her and say to her, Are you all right? Is your husband all right? Is the child all right? She answered, It is all right. But when she came to the man of God at the mountain, she caught hold of his feet. Gehazi approached to push her away, but the man of God said, let her alone, for she is in bitter distress. The Lord has hidden it from me, and has not told me yet. Then she said, Did I ask my Lord for a son? Did I not say, Do not mislead me? He said to Gehazi, Gird up your loins, and take my staff in your hand, and go. If you meet anyone, give no greeting, and if anyone greets you, don't answer, and lay my staff on the face of the child. Then the mother of the child said, As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave without you. So he rose up and followed her. Gehazi went on ahead and laid the staff on the face of the child, but there was no sound or sign or sound of life. And he came back to meet him and told him, The child hasn't awakened. When Elisha came into the house, he saw the child lying dead on his bed. So he went in and closed the door on the two of them and prayed to the Lord. Then he got up on the bed and lay upon the child, putting his mouth upon his mouth, his eyes upon his eyes, and his hands upon his hands. And while he lay bent over him, the flesh of the child became warm. He got down, walked once to and fro in the room, then got up again and bent over him. The child sneezed seven times, and the child opened his eyes. Elisha summoned Gehazi and said, Call the Shunammite woman. So he called her. When she came to him, he said, Take your son. She came and fell at his feet, bowing to the ground. And then she took her son and left. Let us pray. Loving God, we give thanks for this story. The poor woman and the rich woman, but both needy women, and for the role that your spirit played through Elisha to bring provision for the desperate poor woman in debt and to bring healing for the rich woman in the loss of her child. May we not judge rich or poor or by any other outer measure, but see all as having need in your sight. And may we know how to bring our need to you as well. And so we pray for a needy country at the moment, for those who cannot 
pay a mortgage or rent, who are afraid of losing their homes like the woman in the story and who are afraid they cannot feed their children. And we pray for those who have everything that they need materially but are in a place of loss, of grief, of losing someone very precious to them. And we pray for healing at many levels. We give thanks for Teresa of Avila, for her resilience and energy for her extraordinarily close relationship with you, O oh God, and for her teaching that nothing can trouble us when we allow God to be our safe place, our bastion, our refuge, and we will in that place cease to despair. And so we gather our prayers in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today enough our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May we bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.